Hello, I'm Michael for GameWatcher.com and welcome to our preview of Dawn of Andromeda, which is a new real-time 4x space strategy game in development by Grey Wolf Studios and being published by Iceberg Interactive. Now, the game is just about to launch on Steam's early access platform, following in the footsteps of other 4x strategy games like Endless Space 2. Dawn of Andromeda places you in the role of the faction of your choice to fend off your empire empire against outlaws, merchants, pirate clans and other factions in a all new space sci-fi 4x strategy. Game shares a lot of similarities with Paradox Interactive Stellaris, in fact it almost plays the exact same. After spending a fair bit of time with Dawn of Andromeda, it actually feels like the core mechanics of a Stellaris game with the visual touches of Endless Space 2. The game Gameplay itself is very simple and players of Stellaris will be right at home here. First you have the faction selection screen whereby you can choose a pre-existing faction or create your own. Each faction has their own traits, their own personalities and their own playstyles depending on what character traits you choose for your faction. For example you can choose to be militaristic which will give you a bonus to military vessels and it will stop the decrease in happiness for your population when at war. Once you get into the game, you have just discovered space flight, so you are in control of a single planet. From there, it's your job to explore the galaxy, survey interesting locations and potential colony sites, and of course, defend your ever-growing empire. As you would expect from any sci-fi 4x strategy, the game comes feature complete with, of course, a ship builder, so you can create your own design ships. It has various technology trees to research as you technologically progress and of course the age old pause and speed up system where you can move the game speed as to what you want. All the core basic elements of any good 4x sci-fi strategy are in the game at the moment but the game is on early access and is not feature complete. So here are my current concerns for the game. First of all I'm worried about the mid game to end game content. There is a lack of discussion on from the developers or any kind of information available about what they really plan to put into the mid game and end game content that will make it so that it will be worth investing players times. While the developers have talked about new factions and characters joining in mid game including other content it's very very light on detail and it's possibly that the game may suffer from what Stellaris suffered with a lack of mid to end game content which it was only a year later the developers addressed the issue. Secondly I worry about its closeness in similarity to Stellaris. I mean the game is almost identical in terms of its core mechanics. The combat is same, the research technology is the same, the way that you govern planets and colonies is exactly the same and I worry that the game will not do enough to distinguish itself from the pack for players to really invest time in Andromeda over something that has much more content like Stellaris. Lastly my main concern lies with the user interface itself. It has clearly taken its inspiration from the Endless Space series so it looks visually pleasing, very elegant, very minimalist but it's also difficult for first time players to get round. The tutorial isn't particularly well thought out either which leaves players wondering what the hell to push the actual buttons that are pressable and clickable on the screen don't always show themselves particularly well and there's a lack of technology in the technology trees which I feel may harm the game at some point. Now by no means am I advocating the complete removal and redesign of the UI because I think it looks great but the developers do need to work on the tutorial and make sure the UI is clearer for newer players who aren't experienced with the genre. Overall however the game is shaped up nicely. There's certainly bundles of potential here and I certainly think that it could eventually give Stellaris a run for its money. However, in its current state in early access there are plenty of things to be done on the game yet and I think players may want to hold off until more content has been implemented in the game so that they can have a more well-rounded experience and at least a more engaging one. That being said, however, it's certainly one for 4x fans to keep
keep an eye on. There is plenty of potential, like I've said, and the game looks so good that hopefully the core mechanics and anything that they put in after the fact will help the game stand out from the pack and not just get lost as a Stellaris clone. And that is our preview of Dawn of Andromeda. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And as always, we will see you at GameWatcher.com.